This is living free in my RV. I haven't uploaded a video since uh, Cairns, the Daintree Forest, because in actuality I've been enslaved in Victoria Prison under the tyrannical reign of Dan Andrews and his Gestapo Nazi slave master enforcers, dragging pregnant women out of their homes and cars, strangling women on the street, hassling old ladies in the parks. It's turned into uh, a career, you know, which, you know, ironically Dan Andrews is, is dependent over for the Chinese now. So finally, the border to New South Wales opened, uh, is opening on the 23rd, so I'm going straight through. I'm never coming back to Victoria. I've lived in Melbourne, brought up raised since 1958, and I've seen many different premiers and politicians in power, and I've complained about them, but none top this this dictator, Dan Andrews, he's a psychopath, a sociopath, and a pathological liar who would lie when the truth sounds better. So well, I'm gonna head up to Callista and get some water so I can drink unfluorigated water, you know, and, uh, and then take off to the border. I'm going to Cobram um, and go to Quicks Beach, and then from Cobram, I'll head towards Dubbo, and I'm um, no rush, you know. Then um, the Queensland border apparently will open on the 1st of December. So I'm just gonna creep along, you know. It's good doing little little legs, you know. It's less stress on me and the vehicle if you only do short drives from campsite to campsite, you know. So that way, you know, your vehicle lasts longer, you know, you don't get fatigued. Um, it's gonna be a while till my body comes back to normal. I've put on weight as everyone has during the lockdown, you know. What else is there to do when you can't go five kilometers from your home? Yeah, it's like we, you know, they have more freedom in prisons. They get out at seven in the morning and they go back to their cells at ten at night. You know, they don't have to, aren't forced to wear masks. You know, and you know, so you know, Victoria has turned into a prison state. It used to be the most livable city. Now it's the most unlivable nightmare, thanks to this Dan Andrews who cost eight hundred lives in the hotel quarantine, while his his workers were sexually preying on innocent victims. So what kind of sick, sick government has that turned into? I'm disgusted, you know, and Victoria, there's no way I'll ever go back there, you know. So I'm heading up, you know, the elite live up like Port Douglas and up in Cairns, North, far North Queensland. So keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. So I'm gonna move in next door. My neighbors will be my enemies, you know. And, uh, you know, they, they've been forcing these fines on people, like unlawful, unconstitutional fines, which you shouldn't pay. I mean, Rebel News has been taking people to court, defending people, but all you have to do is go to court, you know, don't pay them, right? Um, just separate your name in capital letters to lowercase le letters from the legal fiction to the natural flesh and blood person, and first separate yourself so you've got the power, and say, you know, I'm here in the matter of the name, and then um, ask them, is there any liability in this case? Has anyone been harmed? If so, why am I here? And they'll have to throw the case out. Like, personally, if I got one of those fines in the mail, I would use it for toilet, I'd wipe my ass on it, cover it in shit, send it back to them, saying, eat my shit, you know? And that's a, the utmost sign of disrespect and contempt for them, because I've got nothing but contempt for our tyrannical, Illuminati elite government, you know, and just wait till they bring these vaccines. You notice Dan Andrews, every time he gives one of his hour and a something boring speeches of his stroke and his ego, he always mentions, you know, like, even though there's zero cases, it doesn't equal a vaccine. And at the end of his speech, he mentions vaccine. You know, he's probably got Bill Gates in his back pocket with the rest of the Chinese, you know, that it's not Australia anymore, it's China. They're even flying Chinese flags outside police stations. And if you look at the emblem, on the police uniform, and it's an upside down pentagram, which you could Google that, if you don't believe me, Google it, it'll tell you it's absolute evil. So that's who is in power, and we're ruled by thugs, 
and they, they condone pedophilia. People like Mark Suckerturd, I'm banned from Facebook for life now for being honest, too honest. But I'm not going to bow, you know, and I'll fight. If I have to fight, I'll unite with everyone. What we need is a global civilian union and stand under the same banner, use the same tactics as the elite do. They all divide us equally, you know, give up your neighbour, you know, if they're, if they're not wearing their mask, you know, all this fucking bullshit, you know. Take the lethal injection vaccine. It's like saying, you know, um, you have sugar, you're a diabetic, oh, it doesn't matter, just have sugar anyway, you know. Otherwise you'll have to wear a mask and you can't buy nothing, you know. So I'm not going to stand for that shit, you know. So I'll, um, take off soon and get out of Victoria and hopefully I'll be less stressed than I am now. So let's let's get going. Fuck this Victoria state. Dan Andrews, you can get fucked. Fuck yourself with a rubber hose. Stuff it in your mouth and down your throat. Up your nose or in your hiney hole. I don't care where it goes. And it don't matter if you're straight or gay. You should fuck yourself anyway. You don't have to listen to a word I say, but if I know you, you'll be humping away. Fuck yourself with your neighbor's nose. If you can't use that, use a ten-foot pole. Stick it up your ass and go for a stroll. Everyone will know you've been to this show. If you can't take it, eat my stool. Masturbate with some crazy glue. I don't care what you do. Fuck yourself with a garden tool. Fuck yourself with politics. Man, they're so full of fucking, fucking shit. And you know we've been lied to ever since we were born. It's amazing that we've been getting fucked that long. Fuck yourself with the World Wide Web. Man, you could ride that sucker right from your bed. You may even meet a Tom, Dick, Jane, or a Billy. Then grab onto your modem and fuck yourself silly. Fuck yourself with your heart and soul. Give it everything you got. Hey, I'm talking to yo. If you can't even fuck yourself, how you gonna fuck someone else? Fuck yourself with my microphone. I'll give it to you later when we're all alone. We can turn it up loud and see if you come. Don't get your jizz on my microphone Fuck yourself with organized religion Now there is some seriously sin in business If the Lord sees their pathetic crimes He'll be fucking them till the end of time And can somebody explain to me this racism crap? I know it isn't white, but it isn't black And for those of you who can only see things your way Well, you could suck my dick and take all day Buckle your nose with a pound of a blow Watch your money get up and go But when you burn your brain and you say I don't know I hate to tell you but I told you so Fuck yourself with your grunge rock noise Stuff those albums in your groin They come down on me because I know how to play Hey, fuck you yourself with a copy of Rolling Stone, or are they too holy for your holiest of holes? Now those people think they're holier than Moses, but aren't they just a bunch of fucking poses? Fuck yourself with your mother's jewelry, hey, I won't tell, I ain't a stoolie. If your pound's hard enough, you cough up a ruby, your blood will be rich, and so will your duty. Fucking yourself with the latest fashion Your spikes and your hair and those cute little buttons And if you happen to have some leather and lace Fuck yourself till you're blue in the face Fuck yourself with your income tax They're fucking you, and that's a fact Before you know it, your money's all spent And you've just been fucked by the government Fuck yourself with your lawyer friend Well, you're the only one that's gonna get fucked in the end I have been so fucked by legal bills That my asshole is the size of Beverly Hills Fuck yourself with your full-length sweater With your minks and your diamonds With your Irish setter Your cash and your trash And your sinks and your drinks Just fuck yourself So you can't even think 
those of you who enjoy this song. Well, thank you, thank you. I love you. Let's get it on. But for those of you who are totally outraged, fuck yourself with your face. many people know about this spot which is great. Okay. okay, I'll park and get the containers ready. There was a survey a while ago between uh, this water here at Callista in this secret location here and Mount Donabuang and Mount Donabuang was the best because it, it's got a filter where the water comes out. This water is coming out from under the ground. It's been there for hundreds of years. It's pure spring water. So what I've done is I've brought myself 
some cotton that's used to make, bake ham in, <laughs> and I've, which is you know, it's funny because I'm a vegan, but I'm just going to double layer that for the filter, and uh, it'll be fine, no problem. I mean, when the uh, when this lockdown was full on, when Dan Andrews gave us a 5k limit and a curfew, like in Nazi Germany during the war. Um, the water, they said there was a storm up at Sylvan Dam, but, and then all of a sudden the fluoride content of the water increased, because they used to use fluoride in the, uh, the concentration camps. The Nazis used it to keep all the prisoners docile before they pushed them into the gas chambers. And I noticed after, if I uh, had a shower in that water or used some of that, I didn't drink it, but I was, I was still uh, getting the water in my body through the pores of my skin, and I found that I was really tired, you know, and uh, most people would have just been snoozing, napping and getting fat, which is part of the agenda. They never mention all the suicides either. They just give bullshit numbers. But anyway, let's go and get this water. Yep, let's turn right after the bridge. As you can see, this is where this water is running off into this, into the Callista Creek from the underground spring, which is around here. The beauty of it, that not many people know where this spot is. Otherwise they would do something to change it, stop us from drinking real water. And this is where it is coming up from under the ground here. Not far now till we cross over into New South Wales from Victoria Prison. There's Victoria Prison, thanks to Dan Andrews, the most unlivable city. And here we are, New South Wales border, escape to freedom.
campground, one of the many around the Cobram area. This is on the New South Wales side, and uh, over there is Victoria, <laughs> the place I used to come from. And they would have, there would have been heaps of people there before the 23rd, and now I reckon they're all down there. I had a look down there. It is better for the morning sun, but um, I prefer to isolate away from everyone so I can run my generator with no, one, no complaints, which is why I always park away from everyone if possible in isolation. I have no other visitors except for these guys here, which if they didn't like my generator, they'd just move on. I personally recommend, uh, because I'm, I'm doing some renovation, I'll show you in a sec, that Honda 3KVA, they're, they're not too loud, they're pretty quiet, but I can run power tools, I can run the air conditioner, I can run everything. You know, you're always better off having a little bit more power than you need. I know the 2.1s, whatever, they're a bit, well, they're still noisy, but um, no, I prefer to go up to the 3KVA. Some people like a 5KVA. But this has served me well. This has been running since 2013, since when I bought my rig, and I've been living full time in it since then. I'm now in Ardlethen, a New South Wales town. It's about 300 and something k's to Dubbo. And uh, it's a free campsite, but there's power for $2 for 12 hours. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Keep my batteries charged, put the aircon on, it's going to be around 40 degrees or more. Yeah, so it's for self contained vehicles only. Yeah, it's got toilets, it's got shops over there. And uh, yeah. So I'll chill out and then we'll head off to Dubbo after. It's the 4th rest. of December now and I was planning on crossing the border into Queensland on the 1st of December but my steering rack gave up. And it was on its way out for a long time. I was going to get it fixed in Victoria but Dan Andrews wanted us to spend money in Victoria. So I waited till I crossed into New South Wales and I spent 3500 in uh, Dubbo on a new steering rack, you know, new, new hoses, you know, so it's going well. I'll get another 20 years out of that. It's great to be free from, from uh, the prison state. No one's got masks up here. They walk around like normal people do. You know? I think Dan Andrews, at the moment, he's looking for the virus still. He's getting desperate because you know, he can't justify it anymore. But he's, he's even looking, sifting through shit. He's found his true vacation, looking through shit to try and make up some cases. Probably use his ears to stir it all up. But anyway, I'm, I'm about 120 k's from Gundawindi now. I'm going to have lunch, lunch in Queensland on the border in a free state. And um, from there, I'll head to Brisbane and then continue slowly on my way all, all the way up to Cairns. There's no rush, of course, as I mentioned earlier in the opening, but um, I'm just going to take, once I cross this border, then I'm going to really take my time and just enjoy the sun, freedom, fresh air, you know, abundance of really good fruit and vegetables, go to the farmers markets, catch up with some friends on the Sunshine Coast, and back to living free in my RV before the uh, pandemic happened. When Dan Andrews is sifting through the shit with his big turbine ears, I wonder how he tells which turd belongs to which person. Does he do a, a DNA check, like like on the Terminator, The Rise of the Machines, that female one where she puts a bit of the blood on her tongue and gets a match with the DNA? I suppose Dan Andrews would love that. His, his true vacation is sucking turds from other people. He talks shit, so he's, that's a really good job for him, and he's full of shit. Well, I finally made it to uh, Inglewood, my, one of my uh, regular rest stops when I travel up and down. Um, it's pretty 
it's a quiet sort of town. You know, I've got the campsite to myself today. It's going to be over 40 degrees, so I'm going to go to the swimming pool and I'll go into Brisbane on Monday and, um, and then start from there. You know, catch up with some friends, go to the Sunshine Coast, go to Yandina Market along the way up on the way up i've been looking at the temperature and it's been you know like cooler overnight especially in the tablelands up cairns like people think it's too hot but if you go out the tablelands like there's a there's a campsite free campsite called irving bank and it's um about 50 k's from atherton so you get it it gets cold up there actually you know? so this time of year it'd be perfect up there it'd be just nice the temperature it's the same every day, so you get climatised to that. But coming up, like before Dubbo, it was 40-something degrees, you know, um, which inland is always hotter. You know, if I had gone up through Roma and Emerald, it would have been too hot. I came down that way when I came back to Melbourne in March, right? I came down for surgery, right? And then when I went into the hospital for surgery, um, when I was discharged, it was like walking out into a science fiction movie. And that's when Dan Andrews, the tyrant, locked us all down, you know. So I'm glad that, I, that I'm going to get back up there. I should have stayed, I should have had it in Brisbane, but my friends were going, no, no, there's better surgeons in Melbourne, go to Melbourne. Yeah, sure, go to Melbourne. Yeah. But anyway, it's, it's done, it's over. You know, I made some extra money, saved more money with the JobKeeper, so, you know, they throw in a sweetener, always give you more, give you throw money at people, that'll fix the problem. So anyway, um, so I'm just going to chill out today and go to the swimming pool and relax. You know? There's only one more thing that I have to do to close this video. Um, I might do some filming around Brisbane because I've never filmed in Brisbane or Sydney as well. I'd like to go to Sydney sometime maybe, you know, and uh, cover some footage around that area. So there's only one thing more to do. I'll go back to my campsite now. I'll show you um, how I love isolation. And privacy sometimes, especially when I'm the only person at the whole campsite. This is a three-day campsite, um, you know, so I can start my generator anytime when there's no one here. Uh, put the aircon on when I want. I've worked out a little way to save power. When you're uh, running your generator, um, I run the home cinema, everything else off the sine wave, off the solar and the generator just for the air conditioning and put on a lower setting and you'll save on fuel that way. So anyway, as I said, there's one more thing to do to close this video until we go to the next one, Exodus part two. Dan Andrews was also telling people that if you're traveling from Victoria into other states, continue to wear your mask. So this closing scene, especially for Dan Andrews, I want him to uh, show him what I think of his laws, see? There you go, Dan, dictator Dan. There's so much for your masks.